This is reminiscent of the old days in Jamaica. Uh, uh, back in the 60s, you used to hook up with Rastafarians and go back up in the Blue Mountains and uh, check the crops up there. And uh, it was wild. You, you pull up to this thing and you got guys crawling out of the trees with rifles. And Have there been raids up in areas like this? Mm-hmm. Who, who does the raids? Who's, this, who's the arm up here? Same old culprit. Big brother. When we see the people with huge hydroponic grows, multiple rooms or an entire house rented just to grow, and they have stapled on the wall that it's for themselves medical marijuana, one would tend to think that it's not really a legitimate reason for having the marijuana. Some people get all stoked on growing orchids and other things, and this is, this is just awesome. Basically, you have drug dealing. The question is, is it legal or not? This is our approval certificate that we issue to our patients once they qualify to be a medical marijuana patient. They just get so many side effects from the traditional prescribed medicines that they're, they're looking for some alternative. Oh, for the last 12 years, I've had Parkinson's, and, and uh, since I've got Parkinson's, I, I, I drank to calm down and got diabetes from, from the liquor. and got careless and got AIDS. And this week I've slept seven to nine hours a night, every night since I started eating these special cookies. <laughs> Pound cake is the undiscovered gem of cannabis food. If people are having severe pain, if they have arthritis, if they have a broken bone, usually I'll try and slip this recipe to them. There are other ways to use marijuana, but I smoke it because it works immediately, because I'm nauseous, like, right now. It's very tasty, though. San Diego has some good marijuana. The uh, name of the company, Legal Ease, right? Yes. And you own it? Yes. OK. So you've cleaned up the store before? Yeah, this is the third time. Like I said earlier, if you find evidence on that tape, give us a call. Okay, we'll do. Do you have any brownies or something that this gentleman could try? <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm very good. I really believe that we are, we're blessed to be able to have medical marijuana available to us. And I would put purity aside in the name of compassion, and I would do that as a religious value. I was in a car then a little while ago. I forgot how to walk. I've been coming for four months. My caregiver, she had to light the pipe for me. Um, it helped me in my first breath, because I, I forgot them in the chat. They took us right back here, and they grabbed one of the chairs that was out there in the regular um, lobby. It was kind of weird that they came in first before anything else and took out the cameras. They asked me for my social security number. They asked me where I was born. They asked me for any identifying marks, tattoos. They took a picture of me, and then went a little bit into detail about what my medical history was and why it was that I was a patient also. It's really devastating if it was to be taken away from people. You know, uh, start going to the press and saying, why won't our district attorney uh, press charges against the Merck and Pfizer executives who killed so many people in our area? They knew that they, their products were going to kill people. And you know, and, and yet yeah, you have, you don't have the DEA going after these drug campaigns. Legalize the marijuana, that's what we say. I mean, these drugs she was on were very, very powerful, and they were ripping her apart. 
people regard it as this, you know, kind of like silly drug that makes you completely out of your mind, and that wasn't true at all. It's the funny part is that they'll accuse me of having just smoked when I'm completely sober. <laughs> This right here is a gem. This is like a master kush. In the dispensary model, we, we see, I saw things that troubled me, such as the marketing of the marijuana. And it wouldn't be that attractive to the government if it weren't for the fact that uh, the way it's set up now, uh, there are a lot of people who are making money on this thing. Their agenda is legalization. And I just say to them, let's have the up-down vote. The government could regulate a lot of this and tax this, and, and it would be available to a, a wider base of patients. Is the dispensary model legal or not? Let the public decide if that's what you really want, but don't, don't hide behind patients. One of the major concerns that uh, I've discussed with uh, Mr. Verbanek, my client, is the risk of being arrested by the federal agent. I'm aware of uh, the fact that you know, the government can come down and do whatever they want to do, and there's no control of that. So I can only focus on the things that I have control of, and that is doing the best job that we can possibly do for as many people as we can do, and uh, things will just take care of themselves. Your persecution will come undone, Kali. Is there any negative sides medical marijuana? Uh, no, really, it does make you lazy. But what all my union members know, and I've known too, that once you put down medical marijuana, you're doing it. Once marijuana has been introduced into a culture, it never leaves.